you might ask yourself why there haven't been any scraping videos for years. Well, one thing I already told you, but not the other one. It was about four years ago that I had a, a crash with the bicycle, my fault. Hmm. I was going too fast on, a, on the icy road and <laughs> looked back and made a turn and was braking on the front wheel at the same time and that didn't work out too well. So I have torn apart my right shoulder here. Uh, it was quite, quite a pain. Uh, it's, uh, it's called the AC shock joint and I've torn apart the ligaments. Ligaments do join uh, bones to bones uh, and tendons to join muscles to bones. Tendons aren't difficult uh, to repair, they do heal and it works quite well, but uh, ligaments uh, don't. If you can't repair it within two weeks, uh, you've lost. Uh, they never will join back together. And yeah, there were two stupid doctors that uh, made a false diagnosis and he said, yeah, that will be okay in four months ago again, but it wasn't that uh, idiot. Anyhow, it took quite some time uh, until I had the, the, the time to make a surgery and uh, it was because of the workload uh, at my work and I didn't want to be uh, out of, of my job for several weeks, weeks, yeah, well, that turned out different. So this uh, February I decided to make the surgery and uh, had a se session with the doctor again and he said, yeah, that will be, okay. uh, everything will be okay, no problem, uh, we will, you will be uh, sick for uh, four weeks and uh, then uh, you're back on the job. Uh, yeah, well, that didn't sound too bad. Uh, so I made the surgery. They took out uh, a tendon of my left uh, upper leg. Uh, this was the scar. It is below the knee, but somehow they crawled into the <laughs> upper leg and cut out the uh, tendon that isn't so super important, uh, that's a common repair. Uh, so they use the tendon to uh, repair uh, this ligament, it's, it's, it's how it works here, it it's joins to the uh, shoulder leaf. And the other repair they made uh, with, uh, they call it dog bone collars, two dog bone collars. Uh, this is just a, a small, uh, it looks like uh, one link of a, of a chain, two holes and mm, yeah. from titanium, I guess, and one on the upside and the other one down uh, and they thread some wire through it and make some welding. No, I don't think they bought it. So this is the other joint. Uh, basically, three ligaments were torn and they replaced it somehow. Uh, uh, if you want, you can look it up uh, in more detail. It, it's called, uh, there's a classification on the severeness. It's called uh, Tossy 3 or Rockwood 10. Tossy 3 is the <laughs> best and uh, 
Rockwood Tan, I don't know uh, the classification, how it works exactly. So, my uh, wishbone, or how you also call it, is this collarbone, this is this bone here, or uh, clavicle, was uh, no more, more connected to the shoulder leaf. The shoulder leaf does carry this uh, shoulder joint, the outer shoulder joint. And it's quite interesting, the mechanics. The shoulder leaf is, is, has a gliding surface uh, on, on your ribs and it can float in any direction. And uh, to prevent the shoulder leaf from sliding outwards or in any unwanted direction, you have the uh, collarbone here. And, well, that connection didn't exist anymore, so the collarbone was standing up at about two centimeters, only uh, connected here. Uh, it was quite useless. <laughs> so, the uh, consequence of this uh, uh, was that I, I couldn't do scraping anymore. It was just too painful. It worked for a few minutes, but uh, then uh, one of those muscles here in the back uh, started to freak out, uh, cramped and started to burn and it was useless. And also I couldn't go uh, biking uh, for, yeah, well, half an hour worked, but not longer. That was just enough to go to work and back again, but it got worse and worse. Uh, so it started after 15 minutes, and this was also uh, the reason why I made the surgery. Yeah, so this is why there are no scraping needles for a long time. Doctor said, yeah, you'll be okay in, in four weeks again and so after the surgery I, they threw me out of the hospital after two days uh, uh, he said yeah well you can walk again uh, after two days it's no problem uh, yeah. it took two weeks until I, I could climb stairs again uh, in a normal way like other people do still having problems with the left leg. Uh, anyhow, I can bike enough force or force as before, but the control doesn't, doesn't work that good. And it does not that important. It's, uh, but uh, I couldn't do any work. I had a lot of pain. I couldn't uh, lift my arm and put it on the desk like, well, typing on the computer was five minutes and then pain started. It, I had to, to, to put my arm on the lap again, things relaxed, but well. Uh, so this took four months until I was uh, able to go to work again. Now I'm at work, back at work a uh, few weeks now and it's it's okay, it works, I can I can do it. I do have some pain uh, still but uh, it's manageable, manageable. But as I found out later, uh, the, the doctor kind of tricked me into the surgery. Yeah, I wanted to do it but he said, yeah, that's nothing tragic. Well, it is, has quite an influence. Uh, it takes about half a year until you say, yeah, no, it's quite okay. It's a bit of restrictions. And uh, it takes one year until you say, now everything is, is, is good again. Everything works as, as it should. For example, I can't lift my arm further than that. So, uh, and it hurts, but I don't need that for scraping. <laughs> yeah, so now you know. And uh, I 
I'm going to show you uh, an X-ray picture, uh, and the, the the scars in the left leg. Uh, on the left leg, they uh, cut out the tendon. They wanted to do it on the from the right leg, but uh, this my right knee isn't the best anymore. Bicycle crashes, <laughs> no, yeah, motorcycle crashes, and so I said, uh, take it out from the left, and uh, the scars here on the shoulder, there are four overall, one bigger, small one, and here's a really tiny one, uh, just a, a peak hole for, for what is it called? Uh, anyhow, endoscopic for endoscopic endoscopic cut. It's not worth mentioning. And so, if you mm, don't want to see scars, they aren't bloody anymore. Don't worry. And don't want to see X-rays, actual X-rays. You can switch off now. Bye. Oh, one more thing. Uh, doctor said I can't make push-ups uh, till September. So uh, driving with the normal two-wheel bicycle seems to be too dangerous for me. And so I'm using this uh, tricycle now, made something around 800 kilometers on it, on it this year since February or since I could drive it again. And well, that's it. I, I bought it about two years ago. And the other thing, I broke my right shoulder leave about 20 years ago during a two-day enduro and uh, kind of hit the tree, it looks like, went straight into the woods because I, when I wanted to double someone, uh, he made so much dust that I completely lost the corner and uh, found my way on, uh, against the tree and the shoulder leaf uh, didn't grow back together too well, there's a slight offset and well, well it's it hurts after some hours of certain uh, positions, it, it depends, it, it works, but uh, well. So this just adds to uh, the complications of the right shoulder. So I decided to switch sides and uh, focus more, more on the left side with my injuries and already made some progress here. Uh, took the corner too fast and <laughs> uh, well that's it you just touch the ground if you're going too fast and you can go too fast believe me